What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Today, your boy is going to be breaking his girlfriend's heart. I don't know why I'm saying that with such a big smile and so enthusiastic, but as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of the video, today I'm going to be telling my fiance that we have to return her new car. For those of you guys who don't know, Janice recently just got her like ultimate dream car we posted the reveal video on our vlog channel so if you guys haven't seen that video or haven't seen our vlog channel make sure you guys go over to our vlog channel janice and isaiah vlogs go watch the video make sure you guys are subscribed and then come back and watch this video because it's about to get crazy so yeah janice recently got her dream car i would say maybe like a week almost a week and a half ago i think don't quote me on that but it's been about i would say like a week so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna call her up here because we have to put laundry away we have so much laundry sitting it's ridiculous so i'm gonna tell her to come up here help me with the laundry and then i'm gonna pretend to get a phone call and on that phone call i'm gonna be pretending like i'm talking to the dealership or the guy that actually got us the car and just be like what do you mean we have to return the car and then you know i'm just gonna give it and be like all right i guess we gotta give the car back and then i'm gonna hang up and then that's when you guys are just gonna see Janice going crazy. She is going to be hysterical if she has to give back her dream car. Comment down below how you guys think she's gonna react. Give this video a big thumbs up down below. Make sure you guys also comment Team Isaiah all day, every day down below, and let's get into it. Hey! Yeah. Can you come up and help me fold laundry? In the bedroom? Oh. Where else do we fold laundry? I thought you were in the laundry room. We never fold laundry in the laundry room. Yeah, but I thought you were like still taking stuff out. No. I still, we have this load and then I have a whole nother load still in the dryer. <sighs> Why is there so many damn clothes? I feel like I just did laundry like three days ago. No, because the day that I washed, when I was done washing, you took like a day or two to put them away. No, I didn't. Yeah. So no. then there was like another load ready to be washed, and that's the one in the dryer now. I feel like it's because you've been going to the gym, so you've been wearing like three outfits a day. You go to the gym with me. Yeah, but I stay with one outfit, and then when I get home, I shower and I get my PJs. You have one outfit in the morning, then you change, then you go to the gym, then you change again. That's like mad clothes. You just be wasting. So you're telling me I do three outfits in one day? Yes. No. So you're going to wear that when you work out today? Yes, that's why I'm dressed like this. You rarely ever do that, babe. Rarely ever do what? Like, you rarely ever, like, change. You know what I mean? Like, you put this outfit on, and then you change, and then you go into another one. This is still wet. Bro, why has all the clothes been wet lately? These are your, these are your jeans. These are wet, too. So put them in the back of the dryer. They're going to shrink. So they hang it up over there. Bro. Put it, like, on the ledge. All the wet clothes, I'll just put them in a pile so that you could go and put them over there. This is annoying. <laughs> Welcome to being an adult. I didn't choose this life. Yeah, unfortunately, this was what comes with age, baby. This life chose me. Imagine when we have kids and we have to fold hella clothes. Hello? No, this is her fiance. Who you about me? Yes. Yeah, that's her car that, that, yeah, that's the one that she just got. I don't want to talk to no dealership. The 2024 Mini Cooper. Yes. Why does she have to give that car back? This is scary. Because of a recall. A recall? Okay, I understand that, but a recall, I bring it back to the dealership, they fix whatever's wrong, and then they give the car back. Why do I have to return the whole car? A recall on the engine. The engine components or the whole engine? How is there a recall on the whole engine? So you guys, I'm assuming, are taking back all your 2024 Mini Cooper S's. Okay, does hers fall under that production date? Oh. No, I just don't understand how I have to return a whole car because of a... No. So you're telling me you guys have recalled a whole engine before? Exactly, you guys have. So this is the first time. 
And that's something I never heard of. Yeah, it's something I never heard of, so... Okay, so are you guys gonna be replacing her car, giving her another one, or are you guys leaving? That doesn't make any sense. How are you guys gonna take a car back because of a recall on the engine, which one I've never heard of before, and then not give her a replacement car? So you guys are just gonna refund her the money. And you guys don't have any other Mini Cooper sitting in that lot the same spec. I'm not giving my car back. I understand that, and she's listening to me, right? She, she's next to me. She's not happy about it at all. I'm not giving my car back. They said that they'll give you three free oil changes on your next menu. Who gives a shit about oil changes, babe? You she's not doing the, no, she doesn't want the oil changes. Hey, Let me give you a call back. I'll call you back. Is the car safe to drive the way it is? I've been driving it like for days already. Hey, call back. Okay. All right, so I think we'll take... Okay, I'll give you a call back. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bro, that Bro, I hate scam. when I'm on the phone and then you're talking to me. Like, I can't talk at the same time. That, I, that, Bro, that's... it's about my car. Okay, that flusters, that flusters me. That flusters me. Okay, you're well, talking that's... to me like while I'm talking to somebody else. I'm like, bro, like I'm trying to get the information, and you're over here trying to talk to me too. Your car needs to go back. No, it doesn't. I'm not yes, giving my car back, bro. I waited like almost a damn fucking year for you're, that car. Okay, I understand that, but your engine is at risk of basically just blowing up. How does that happen? How? Like how? Did because I... they said that the engine, there's some, there's a recall on the engine. The engine isn't up to factory spec. I don't know. He got mad technical with it. I don't understand what he's saying. Basically, you, if you drive your car, your car, your engine is going to basically blow up. Like, not literally, but your engine is going to fail. And then, at that point, you just need a new car, really. So, they, okay, don't have no. any, they don't have any other Mini Coopers at the dealership. You would have to place an order for another one. And they said that they would give you three free oil changes for the inconvenience. Which, obviously, you said you don't want. Bro, honestly, I didn't even mean to be rude, but what the fuck does that do for me? Like, giving, giving me oil... How are you going to give me an oil change on a car that I don't have? Anymore. They said they're going to make three free oil changes on the next car you get from them. How? Uh, why would I get another car from them? From Mini? Okay. I feel like you're mad at me. Babe, and... I'm just saying it doesn't make sense. Okay. And I understand that as well. You heard me talking to the guy. It doesn't make sense to me either. But if there's a recall on the engine, he says you can drive it, but eventually the engine is going to fail. So you're okay. taking your chances every time you go out and drive a car. So you might as well just give it back. All right, but I'm saying every time a brand new car is purchased, there is like a two year guarantee, whatever warranty you have a on four, the engine. You, you have a four year warranty, but dealerships do things called recalls where there's something that's not up to spec on the car. They issue the recall. You go, you take it back, they repair it, and then they give you the car back. That's exactly. It. That's I understand I how that goes. Okay, that's what I was telling him. But that's why I was like a recall on the whole engine. That's something I've never heard of. So basically, they got to take the whole car back. They're putting it. They got to put a whole what? new engine. Which, exactly, but why do you have to take the whole car back when you could just replace the well engine take, in the shop? Because it's the whole engine they got to replace, not the components. That's what I was telling him about. But that's what, it, if you don't have the engine, you they got to give you a new engine. You don't have a car in general. Babe, but uh, what I'm saying is you replaced your engine before on your Beamer. When you when you long, heard that okay. knocking sound, yes, and how you long blew was your I, engine, so they how replaced it. I, I didn't have a car for like a month. Okay, but still, they're telling they're That saying, was a component of the engine. I blew up the motor. That was knocking. Okay, they have to replace your whole rods. engine. They have to replace your whole engine, not a component in the engine. But they can't just give put a whole another engine Wait, in it's my gotta car. Go, they got to get the engine from Germany or Brit of uh, Switzerland. What I don't know where where's Mini Cooper made? UK, London, British. Is it thing? Germany? No, the, where, and Mini. What, all right, doesn't matter. Over, they got to get from overseas. Okay. That's gonna take forever. They got to import. They got to do the repairs. It's you might as well just give a car back. I'm not giving my car back. I babe, just it's got gonna it. fail. Either all right, so you're gonna take your chances, and then one day you're gonna call me when you're at like Publix and be like, "Babe, my car's not starting," and I'll be like, "I told you." Then but you why lock would up. they? Why would they even give me the car? I just got the car like three days ago, okay, four days ago. I understand that, and I'm just as frustrated as you are. We can't help it though. If the car eventually is going to fail, you might as well give it back before it does. It will, they said they're gonna give you a refund, so we just gotta place another order. I'm not placing another order. I'm just not gonna have a car then because I'm not beat. Like I'm not about to say I already done waited mad long for this damn car. Like this is just not fair. And I already whatever, I'm over it. He did I have my appointment for my tents and everything. I know you have your appointment for your tent. I'll take the appointment for the tents. I'll tent mine. Babe, you already have tents at your car. What are you talking I'm about? Gonna, I'm gonna change the percentage. I'm gonna change them to a little darker. 
So I'll, I'll, Who, use, I'll bro, use your appointment. I'll use your appointment. It's okay. No, that's not the point. Nobody's um, talking about your car. The the issue is that I'm getting my option, car though. taken away. Okay, I. He gave me an option on the phone for you. What? You can either keep your car, take your chances, or you can give it back, right? And do it the right way. Why would or I do that? Or option number two, you can say, Team Isaiah, <clears throat> and I can tell you that this is just a prank. So which one do you want to do? Mm. You're annoying! So that nobody called you about my car? Nah, man, that's just a ringtone I put to play. Hold on, I'll do Bruh, it. Bruh, I was stop! I was about to cry! No, no, bye. Absolutely not. Team Jose? <laughs> Why are you playing about my car, bro? I thought you were gonna cry, bro. You love that car so much, I thought you were really gonna cry. I was dead ass about to cry when you were on the phone. Alright, so basically, the way this household works, whoever gets pranked and took an L has to put all the laundry away by themselves, so. Learn how to talk before you freaking tell me that I have to put all the laundry by myself. <laughs> I'll see you you're later. Annoying. I'll see you two hours later when you're done folding. No, bro. Put away the laundry with me. Am I annoying? Seriously, you gotta give me credit for that one. No, that was really good, actually. I thought you were gonna cry. I knew you were gonna get mad, but I thought eventually you were gonna cry. Bro, my eyes got mad watery. I was about to cry, but I wasn't gonna cry about it. Nah, I've never heard of recall on a whole engine. Like, like that just sounds stupid. That's that what I was saying. Like, that makes no <laughs> damn sense. I was telling you it's a scam because ain't no way. How's somebody gonna call you about my car? Like, Because I was the one hand it. I handled the whole deal. I understand that, but still, like, all right, now you're telling me that I'm not getting my car. I want to talk now. So, I... Pretty much got the reaction I thought I was gonna get. So Team Isaiah all day every day. Here we live to take another W, right? But what else did you expect? Hi. With all that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below Team Isaiah all day every day. With all that being said, you got anything you wanna say? <sighs> no. Okay. Oh, hot breath. Your breath is hot. You just melted your hand. No, I didn't. Shut up. <laughs> I'm tired. We'll see you guys in the next video. Kitty boy.